Feynman was one of the rare people whom physicists were willing to call a genius in his lifetime. Physicists don't throw the word around casually. Einstein was a genius. Feynman was a genius. I first heard about Feynman when I was working on my chaos book. He was an exciting character. Women loved him. Men loved him. He was funny. He told stories. He had no pretentiousness. And he had a kind of lightning understanding of problems that made him seem magical, even to his very smart colleagues. A turning point was the development of the atomic bomb. That was the moment when theoretical physicists suddenly demonstrated that they had the ability to wipe out all humanity. Feynman was the youngest important figure working on the atomic bomb project. He was at the center of the highest prestige theoretical physics that was done. And he was present for the first famous test of the atomic bomb, the Trinity test. It was a dramatic scene. At 5.29.45 a.m., July 16th, 1945, just before dawn came the flash of the atomic bomb. The light rose and fell across the bowl of desert in silence. No sound heard until the expanding shell of shocked air finally arrived 100 seconds after the detonation. A solid thunder echoed in the hills. It was felt as much as heard. The sound made it suddenly more real for Feynman. He registered the physics acoustically. The experiment codenamed Trinity, was the threshold event of an age. It permanently altered the psychology of our species. Its prelude was a proud mastery of science over nature, irreversible. Its sequel was violence and death on a horrible scale.